In this uh, presentation, um, you will learn about the digital letterbox, which is just a small puzzle of our whole suite and solution. Um, I give you just a theoretical overview, and my colleague, and this is the reason for the two, three minutes delay, uh, had to grab his laptop because uh, he plays a video and uh, we had some technical problems. So I apologize for that. So, what you can see here is uh, a sample of uh, the user journey. Um, you see the red one is the manual process and all the red is fully automatic in our process. It starts with the digital letterbox. Um, this is a tool we use in Switzerland. So a company will not receive any physical letter at all. So the digital letterbox uh, that goes via a scanning center, I will show you that afterwards. We categorize the documents that can be an insurance policy, but they can also be an invoice. And so with AI, they filter out the invoices and it, it shows it uh, separately in the inbox. And then uh, if you are responsible for approving the invoices, the only manual process you have to do is just to approve the invoice. From there on, um, we generate the account record, send the account record to the accounting system which is connected. That could be QuickBooks, it could be Zero, it could be Sage, it doesn't matter for us. Then in the accounting system itself, uh, they will update the balance sheet and profit and loss statement. We will reflect that again. Uh, in our uh, platform as a balance sheet and P&L and then we generate automatically a payment order and furthermore we do the real-time calculation of the KPIs and then we have a, a rules engine uh, behind where we can define uh, whether the KPI is still okay or it's not okay. In the case if it's not okay, there is a red flag in the dashboard, meaning we create an alert and a recommendation out of it, what you have to do. For instance, you have to apply for a new finance and then it goes there in our open corporate ecosystem. Um, for that I have a keynote speech tomorrow to explain the open corporate approach. Uh, this is just uh, the, the second part, so when the uh, payment is due, we have an auto cash management, the multi-banking included in our suite, and then it goes the same way again. So in other words, you have not to do any um, manual interaction. What is the digital letterbox? Um, I mean, it's clear we digi digitize anything. You can ask the chat GPT and this, those are the answers. Online access, digital messages, all in real, what is that now? All in real time, password protected, unlimited for messages and documents. So this concept um, we have in Switzerland. So we are also looking now in other countries uh, to have it because we can combine, of course, email, invoice, e-invoice together with, with the physical stuff which we digitize here. Uh, okay, for some reason it always goes further. Eh? Okay, so this is the big difference of the physical letterbox, unstructured information, conversion to structured information with metadata and automation. Um, it comes with the letter, you have the letterbox, then it goes into the distribution center, there are many processes behind that. Then it goes into the scanning center, we do the archiving, and finally uh, the, the letter, the physical letter, is digitized in the inbox, like an email, but uh, Rene will show that afterwards. So in the portal for companies, we have the digital inbox, we have much more the archive an HR solution, payroll management system, customer interaction channel, acquisition channel, document management system, and the automated accounting system, as I just showed you uh, before. 
So the methodology is, is uh, here, read, understand, interpret and interact. So there are many processes until uh, we, we have it done. And what you also can do, you have the mail distribution in the functions. So you have the mail distribution, the authorization and the documentation of the activities. So that means First of all, the digital letterbox recognizes in that case an invoice, but it could also be, as I said, an insurance policy or whatever. Now you can uh, do your own workflows, of course, because if you are a, a large company, then uh, you have other uh, clerks, they are responsible for this and this uh, area. Okay, so that's actually from the theory. So I ask Rene to show, hopefully, <laughs> uh, the video here. Huh? Uh, hello. Um, I'm trying to show you how uh, the document processing goes, into, uh, uh, goes through the digital letterbox. So what we have here is uh, the cockpit. In the cockpit, we see how many mails we have or how many documents came into the system and the, the digital uh, letterbox already did a, some kind of uh, distinction whether it's an invoice, whether it's uh, just something for the post box which needs to be distributed for something else or whether it's uh, uh, the invoice which uh, will take up later on and uh, I'll see how many documents I have not read and which activities have been uh, taken or are due. So I'll see the unread documents and the activities of, uh, yes, of the day before and the actual day. And if I go into the post box, I'll see the unread documents with a blue spot and oops I'm sorry uh, just give me a sec And as you can see, the, the documents have already been tagged because of, uh, of, of certain content which, uh, which is in there, from whom it came because of the address matching which is in the, in the, uh, in the application itself, in the database, and uh, also to whom it is, uh, 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 should be distributed to, like uh, for Roland Steli, uh, uh, for example, whether it's a salary, salary document or a bank statement. And these are already predefined tags, so they can be used afterwards for searching documents. You can click into document, and then you see the whole document how it has been uh, received from the scanning center, the whole history. So if anybody takes any, uh, 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 makes any changes to the document, it will be historized and you can also uh, uh, edit the properties. Now if you have, if you have uh, invoices, we can go into the folder for the invoices and see on the top what we have outstanding, pending and paid invoices. If we decide to pay, a, pay an invoice, we open the document and uh, check for the tax, give an approval comment, And
and select for the payment. Here you can select what the due date shall be and uh, which payment method shall be applied, whether it goes directly to a bank, whether we make a, tra a bank transfer, and then we confirm it and uh, apply additional tax if needed. Now we see that this document is now, or this invoice, has now moved to the pending invoices, which then will be paid on due, executed on due date. Now here we have all the documents and have the possibility to filter on certain criteria, for example, who the sender is, in what date range, or what tax need to be applied, or the amount, if we uh, consider invoices. And we even have the possibility to search in full text, because sometimes you don't know what tag have, have been applied or whatever. So we're, we're looking for uh, Guchine, which is a, a credit note. And then the, document, the, the system looks up documents which have this expression in it. And we'll see on, on page two, it finds Gutschrift. So with this, we basically end the digital letterbox because after the uh, invoices have been paid, they move over to the digital corporate advisor where it enters into the liquidity plan. And uh, liquidity planning is uh, based on, uh, on multi-banking a multi-account, uh, so we, we have a, a complete overview and even can make, if we see that an account has a, a, a lack of li liquidity, initiate an ac account transfer. What we also see is that uh, everything is uh, consolidated by currency and by the reference currency. So here, we are going to make an, an account transfer. We select the date when that account transfer shall take place. Enter the amount and a description. So we execute the transfer and it's now scheduled for the uh, next day and had an immediate impact to the liquidity of the, of the account, but naturally not on the overall liquidity. So then we go into the overview, we see the next uh, eight days for the individual currency, which is consolidated over all banks and all accounts. We can look again into the, into the accounts, check whether our 100,000 Swiss francs have, have been applied for, uh, for the next day. We see it here, the, uh, the 98,000, because we had the liquidity shortage there. We have the consolidation by currency and the consolidation on the reference currencies. We even have an account group so we can, we can see whether the individual accounts or accounting groups are consolidated. And we, we see it here that because we have a holding structure, we can see how it is uh, distributed over, the, over the, the company, the group members. We even can take a look at it in the charts, see how the li liquidity distribution is there. 
we have the planning, the overview over the banks. And then we see which company holds an account with which bank. Again, we see it on, on the charts, and then we look at the consolidated view of the corporations. <coughs> Sorry. We have by country. And by currency. So that concludes the digital letterbox uh, presentation. Uh, thank you. And uh, are there questions? No? Good. Thank you.